Hi, I'm Lisa, and this is Threshold in China. Today, we are going to share some exciting tech innovations and announcements that happened in China last week. Chinese scientists have developed a new technique that could make even the most advanced submarines easier to detect. The breakthrough involves analyzing tiny electric currents induced by a submarine's movement through seawater. The South China Morning Post claimed the research threatens long-standing U.S. undersea dominance. Submarines are critical to modern naval forces in a way that differs from large surface ships like aircraft carriers. While carriers project overt air power, submarines provide covert strike capabilities, especially nuclear deterrent. This asymmetric steel's advantage is considered essential for sea denial and control of marine time choke points. Submarines have been getting tougher to find lately. New materials and design help dampen noise and shield their magnetic signatures. Sonar and magnetometers are less effective than ever. Recent Chinese research may aid submarine detection using induced electromagnetic signatures. Here's how it works. When a submarine glides swiftly through the water, it disturbs the fluid around its hull. This churning seawater cuts across Earth's magnetic field lines, introducing weak electric currents. The currents create faint electromagnetic signatures, especially ripples in the ocean's natural energy field. Unlike sounds or magnetism coming from the sub itself, these ripple effects depend solely on water flow pattern. Submarine speed, shape, orientation, and cavitation all contribute unique detectable signals. Cavitation refers to the bubbling caused by pressure changes along the hull, and it is a crucial factor. As trailing bubbles oscillate, collapse, and detach, they churn up complex turbulence. This dynamic process generates especially strong electromagnetic field oscillations. By analyzing time, frequency patterns, and strengths of these oscillations, researchers can potentially identify submarine types and track their movements. It is a big advancement over conventional method. Sonar can be defeated with sound dampening technologies. Magnetometers are fooled by non-magnetic hull materials. But the laws of physics means any fast-moving underwater object can create flow disturbance and induce electromagnetic ripples. China's new system provides a way to exploit this phenomenon. It combines advanced sensor with smart software to extract submarine signatures from background ocean energy. The team has successfully detected signals from multiple distance and conditions. Yet, the breakthrough has limitations too. Turbulence and noise complicate signal analysis, and stationary or slow-moving submarines are practically invisible to this method. Much more research is needed to perfect and implement this technology, but it's clear that this new detection concept is poised to drive innovation. Undersea warfare may never be the same. Advanced scientific instruments like FAST and James Webb Space Telescope allows astronomers to see further and more clearly into the space. Building the instrument is important for obvious reasons. Maintaining it effectively over decades of operation is even more crucial. Without proper maintenance, the equipment will break down. This occurred with a reservoir observatory radio telescope, which collapsed when cable broke after years of underfunding and neglect. After that, China's FAST is now the world's only very large radio telescope. The 2,225 laser target distributed on FAST reflector surface are an important part of the telescope control system, like the eye of the reflector. It is made out of aluminium sheet only 1 mm thick and cannot bear the weight of an adult. To maintain the reflector, Chinese scientists created a reflector laser target maintenance robot. The robot can automatically wash it and achieve maintenance of the laser target on the reflector surface, including cleaning, dismantling, and replacement. The scientists figured out how to get the robot moving all over a fast curved dish in all directions. They also developed ways for the robot to see and measure its surroundings in 3D with complex reflections and shapes. 
and it is able to unscrew and swap out the laser target all by itself. The maintenance robot has successfully been applied in replacing and maintaining fast reflected laser targets. While building the new instrument gains headlines, the level of maintenance keeping the facility running decades after decade has even greater scientific impact. A team of scientists at China's Zhejiang University found that particulate matter air pollution is fueling the rise of antibiotic resistance worldwide. According to the World Health Organization, antibiotic resistance is one of the biggest threats to global health, food security and development today. A growing number of infections such as pneumonia and tuberculosis are becoming harder to treat as the antibiotics become less effective. Meanwhile, airborne PM2.5 pollution, which consists of tiny particles with a diameter of 2.5 micrometers or less, is also a growing concern that affects millions around the world. These particles can come from various sources such as emissions from cars and factories, wildfire, etc. Exposure to PM2.5 has been linked to various health problems such as respiratory and cardiovascular disease as well as increased mortality rates. The WHO estimates that in 2016, around 4.2 million deaths globally are attributed to the exposure of ambient PM2.5 pollution. And these two challenges the world are facing today somehow are intertwined with each other. The researchers analyzed data from 116 countries over nearly 20 years, finding significant links between PM2.5 levels and the antibiotic resistance. The particles can transmit resistant bacteria and genes to humans and animals by inhaling and ingestion. Once inside the body, these bacteria are harder to treat with conventional antibiotics. PM2.5 pollution impairs immune function, creating an environment ripe for resistance infections to take place and spread. The polluted setting also selectively pressures bacteria, favoring survivals of resistant strains. In 2018 alone, antibiotic resistance caused an estimate of 0.48 million premature deaths globally, with staggering economic loss of $395 billion. It seems, rather than working independently, human health, animal health, and the environment are intricately connected regarding antibiotic resistance. The good news is that reducing air pollution can curb resistance. If the WHO guidelines limiting PM2.5 concentrations are met by 2015, antibiotic resistance could drop 16.8% with 23.4% fewer related deaths, potentially saving $640 billion. The rising geopolitical tensions are jeopardizing human space exploration. Indian scientists develop an astrophysics device called SYNC. The $50,000 instrument will be mounted on the Chinese space station Tiangong, marking the first collaboration between India and China in space. It is supposed to scan the sky in the ultraviolet waveband as it orbits the Earth and help us to understand the composition and behavior of interstellar gas and the birth and death of stars. With the International Space Station set to retire in 2031, Tiangong will become the only orbital outpost. China has welcomed world cooperation and 27 nations proposed experiments. Nine were jointly selected with the UN, including Singh. If successful, it can become the first foreign payload carried on board the Tiangong space station. But almost a year after applying for an export permit from the Indian government, the scientists have heard nothing. The project leader says that Singh is now sitting in a clean room ready to launch. It is unclear if Singh will make it to China this year. With launch costs covered by China, it is an opportunity Indian scientists are hoping to seize for the benefit of space science. But without the approval from the Indian Ministry of External Affairs, it remains grounded by the gravity of geopolitics. And that is all for today's Threshold. As always, please let us know if you like this new section on science and technology in China, and we'll do more in the future.